Time now for our series, Pushing the Limits, where we showcase everyday people accomplishing the incredible. Skateboarding has exploded in recent years with an estimated 85 million people worldwide grabbing boards, so it's no surprise that 75 percent are 18 and under. But in Santa Cruz, California, one veteran skater defies both gravity and expectations about age. Jamie Yukas shows us how this woman has been pushing the limits most of her life. Helmet on, adrenaline pumping, Jody Oyama is in her element. Champ weaves and whizzes her way through the cones too fast for you to notice at first what's really remarkable about her. Oyama is 64 years old and has been shredding the skate scene since she was 13. What's it like to be 64 in skateboarding? Uh, I don't feel that old until I look in the mirror and I see the wrinkles, but I feel like I'm stronger than I've ever been. In her 50 year professional career, she's traveled around the world competing. And so far this season, she's ranked second in the world in slalom, ahead of teenagers a quarter of her age. When I go to the airport, like getting rides and I have skateboards, they go, oh, where's your grandkids or your kids? And I'm like, uh, no, these are mine. Oyama was a kid herself when her brother Carrie built her first skateboard. This is your original board? Yeah, this is the That your board. brother made in shop class? Yep. Wow. So I what year is this from? Probably... Well, 73. 1973. Yeah. From there, it was her parents who encouraged her love of skateboarding at a time when so few girls were in the sport. And even my mom, when I would tell her, you know, Mom, I'm going to go skateboarding. And she started laughing, like, well, be careful. Say, oh, look it. Is that you? Yeah. But careful skateboarders don't always land on the walls of the NHS Skate Museum <laughs> in Santa sometimes. Cruz. And this is my board that I was riding then. Back then, Oyama said, she struggled to be her own advocate for equal pay and opportunities in such a male-dominated sport. When they first did um, some of the X Games events, they had uh, the women's first prize was $2,500, but they were giving men $2,500 to show up and skate. They didn't even have to place. Where do you see things headed for, for women? I think it's headed in a really good space. I think that uh, it'll just be natural and normal for a young girl to say, I want to skateboard and I want to compete. These days, Oyama is keen to encourage more women to pick up a board and teach amateurs, like me, how to skate. Don't I look so cool? <laughs> Or should we say attempt? That was terrifying. Woo! How's that feel? Good. And then I do this. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Good Oopsie. job. Thank you. Oyama isn't slowing down anytime soon. This fall, she's headed to the World Skate Games in Rome. I think I take every day as a gift to skateboarding as some fun thing that not everyone gets to do. Like, I got to go travel and skateboard, and I just feel like I wanted to get the most out of it. But I never thought I would still be getting the most out of it. <laughs> and you may continue to get the most yeah. out of it. <laughs> yeah. For CBS Mornings, I'm Jamie Yukas in Santa Cruz, California. I don't know, Tony. I still got that group on. I got us uh, for you and I skateboarding lessons. I've seen you ice skate. I can't imagine you <laughs> That's li I literally skating. got them in the wake of our ice skating excursion. Oh man! Hey, what about me? I'm chopped liver. Over uh, no, but it was like after we did a story yeah. on ice skating. You weren't in the piece. Uh huh. But I'm here go? now. You're here now. You want to go? Ice you Let's go. go. Let's go. Right. I'm Let's worried about winter. the falling. The that group She's on. definitely pushing the limits, though. I can't imagine. There's always like an ant holding a grain of sand that stops my skateboard, and I fall off. Yeah. You right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I, love that's my Judy. whole point. Keep inspiring us, Judy. Yes.